Oh my gosh! It's Paper Mario! And the last crusader of the Crystal Skulls! Okay, we've already recorded Paper Mario Thousand Year Door once, but I forgot to fucking assign the OBS track, so it got majorly fucked. Yeah, unfortunately, all of our first draft bits that were probably a little funnier... They were hilarious. Yeah, they were pretty funny. Uh, and Koya uh, isn't gonna be here, unless he decides to pop in. Nah. Yeah, he doesn't want to hear none of this. <laughs> Ahem! Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, the tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed in the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogue Port. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Roveport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Honestly, with the big fire and the accent you're doing, you could probably like throw in some joke about the fucking Baudelaire children or some shit. <laughs> that is kind of the voice. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Sean Connery. Yeah, Sean Connery was Olaf in the... I was movie. not who that is. He was in the uh, he was in like the early like the early two thousands movie. Oh, like the shitty one. Yeah. Oh, that's why he did. That's why he did the voice for Olaf in the TV show. That's why he made it sound like that. No, it was actually the dude from the mask. What's his name? Oh. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Yeah, it was Jim Carrey in the city movie, and then in the TV show it was the gay guy. Yeah, it was the the, the guy that took the fucking Neil Patrick like, Harris. Yeah, he he, he, he he actually did a really good job in the TV show, I'll be honest. He stole the car in Harold and Kumar. Oh, yeah. He, when he was, like, hooked up on drugs, he stole Harold and Kumar's car to have an orgy with women because he prostitutes. wasn't open at the time. You could be gay and have orgy with women. I mean, that's fair. But he wasn't out at the time, I don't think. So, you, you definitely could tell he's an actor. Finally, I have a minute. Me. He's so paranoid! Can you tell I've been voice training? Yeah. Thanks, Elle. Thanks for all your hard fucking work. That sounded really sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Elle, for making a lot of trans women sound almost exactly the same and kinda like you. Honestly, I kind of love it because it's like it's, a really cute voice. It is though. a really cute voice, but like you could really tell when someone followed those like to a T. Not like me, who to decided no on my own. Yeah, they follow the instructions to an E. It's okay, you can do a spit take. No, I'm not going to. This tea's actually a really nice temperature. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Dodgeworth. It's so stifling. Is that terrible? Is that like a bad I feel job? like you're forcing it a little too much. You gotta like sit up a little so you're not like forcing it through your chest. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own, see what I want. Gotta push in here. See? Once in a while, I'd like to take a chance to look around on my own. It's... I don't think that's helping. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. I feel that's a little too gay for Pete. 
Peach is a super straight. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy. The, Wait. Th that's the fucking, like, dude. Oh, Missy. Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. It's a pretty box, what's inside it? I'm gonna fucking hate this, I'm gonna like edit this and I'm gonna fucking like mute it every time I voice beats. You can voice beats, I've decided. <laughs> this box holds the map that shows way to find treasure. But the box has a magical lock on it that will only open for the pure and noble heart. Which is not this guy, because he's a Sadie Street merchant. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one of me touches it. Because I'm a nasty, nasty man, okay? I've stabbed a few people. <laughs> if the box will open for you, Missy, you may have whatever's inside. But don't get your hopes up. I, I see that crown of yours, you know? Royals aren't exactly found of, looked over in good amount of time these days in a post- uh, Enlightenment era. Well, I'll let you hold it. Go on. Oh. I suppose I could try to open it. That's much better. Holy shit! We should get a big plaque for my house that just says Grimery on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mail call. Mail call. It, it, okay, I was gonna say that you gotta do a voice like in the It Would Be So Awesome video where it's just it like the Koopa. It Would Be So Awesome. Yeah, where the Koopa just stares so at the cool. camera, but in the fucking Mario movie they cast that guy as like the blue Koopa. That's awesome. <laughs> they cat the, the fucking- it Mail was... call. Fine, you can- She's fine. God, fine. I get to be Luigi. Do you like my Luigi? Mm. Okay, we'll both do a Luigi, and then whichever one I feel is better on the moment, I'll do. Hey, bro! Check it out! A letter for Pizza Speech arrived for ya! Okay, and then I'll do the next line. I'll just read it to ya! How's that sound? Hey, Mario! To be Luigi! Hello, Mario. Um, now let's see here. Shut up! We didn't decide yet! <laughs> I want to be Luigi. Fuck you, I get to be Luigi. Okay, fine. I like how there's the little portrait of, like, the Mario, like, the Paper Mario, like, sidekick song. Oh, yeah, from the original game. Was that in the GameCube version? I don't I don't think that. they had the texture resolution for that to be a photo of literally anything. It was probably like a star or something. Yeah. It was probably one of the uh, stars from the last game, actually. Hello there, Mario. I'm now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rockport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it, and you will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rockport. That means you must come. Pete's. Pete's. I, I like the f Peach. How does he say it in like Mario 64? Peach. I don't know, but this is like the fucking like castle theme from Mario 64, and I like that a lot. Oh well. Like, the one thing that we're gonna miss out on from, like, having the first recording is, like, like all of the music, like, that starts from, like, the... We're not gonna, like, sit on it for ten minutes just to listen to every piece of music, so we're gonna get through this a lot faster now. Yeah. But... We can retread all of our old jokes. We can reuse them. Since we haven't technically uploaded them, we haven't technically made those jokes <laughs> well, yet. Well, uh, the thing is, I only remember the voice acting bits. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with a letter. I lost it. Hey, Mario, check it out. Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh, this map is so nice. Mario, you're holding it upside down. Oh, sorry. You don't do a good Mario. Put more Italian in it. 
Oh my gosh! This ocean no, is no, so big! No, no, Try Lou Albano. <clears throat> hey, paisanos! Okay, maybe something a little, like, gruffer. Hey, paisanos! Yeah, that works. Hey, Mario, how's it going? It's me, Luigi. Oh, look what you did, Luigi! You got spaghetti all over her overalls! Oh, I'm sorry, Mario! It was an accident, I swear! Please don't hit me! Please no, you don't guys, hit me again! It's fine! <laughs> it's, a, it's a slob party! This is actually perfect! You, you gotta put in the bit. Who the f- who, who, wait, this who, is, who's this that is girl? from the Super Mario Super Show. I know, but who's that girl? It's, I don't know. It's- it's- it's someone- it's someone. It's someone. I, I, I don't know. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's a report. I'm really good at inflection. <laughs> That's just how you speak. It's completely natural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I think the main problem comes that I'm like doing it as I'm reading it instead of reading it then doing it. Not everyone can uh, speak while they read and not have it come across as just trying to read something. Yeah, I can't sight read this. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough wind. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I, I I did tell you the sort of tales about Roadport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, please be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Yeah, whatever! I'm Mario! I know what I'm doing here! Oh, you gotta do the Mario from, like, the Mario, like, alarm clock. I don't know that one. You don't know that one? No, I've never heard of the Mario alarm Flip clock. Flip your phone. You have your phone. <laughs> Wake up! It's time to leave! Wake up! It's time to leave Dreamland! No, I can't do it. Wake up! It's time to leave Dreamland! No, I don't think either of us can do that. Yeah. Okay, just Gruffalo Albania. Hey, I'm walking here! Mm -mm -mm. Hey, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, yeah? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have we a wee bit. <sighs> you look a bit green, so have we. Have. Oh. Have. Have. <laughs> Fuck. Ha. -ha. You look a bit green, so I have a bit of... Fuck! Suave. <laughs> Say suave. Suave. So I have a... Wee. Suave a wee. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of ice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. I'm Mario, don't you know I got multiple lives? <laughs> what do you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe your money or see your girlfriend or something? Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Yeah, that's Goomba, love. Oh, come off it! I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. But now I'm doing the asking. So be a good little student and tell us what you know right now. Uh, yeah, since we like fucking figured out all the voices for the first fucking part in the first recording that like, was fucking like trash. It was trash. It was garbage. Yeah. We don't have like the... We don't get to like workshop any of the characters until we get the pedal metal. <laughs> Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a little sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys are taking this firebrand to our fortress. I see your command, Lord Clump. We're on it. <laughs> no, no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Hey, what's going on over there? Eh, 
Looks like another dust up among rocks. Blokes in this town have used his due sort by half. In times of violence like these, you gotta give that save block a whack to save your progress. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you'll see that big game over screen. You get me? I feel like that's a good bob bomb voice. Yeah. Yeah. Another fight? I swear you only got to throw a morning strip. I already forgot what I did for the... <laughs> Another fight? I swear, you hardly get through a morning stretch before someone throws a punch in this town. That's me doing an impression of you doing an impression of the Toad <laughs> voice. Oh. Hoof, 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 hoof. oh my way, you scallywag! Move your ever love at balls! Blind me a fight, Corkin! <laughs> Ain't nothing so fun as watching a few blokes duke it out in broad daylight, eh? Am I right, mate? Yikes! Looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle in other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Get it? Because I'm green? Yahoo! Wahoo! Like, I'd go anywhere with smelly losers like you. Hmm. Not likely. Whoa! What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Oh. Oh. Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give a little taste of the old crumpa bomb. Such evil and foreboding music. <laughs> Can't flee this fight. I have no idea what we're gonna do with like the old footage. Like maybe I should just like scrounge through it and like pull up like anything that's like usable and like just put it in a montage or some shit. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Okay. Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Oh, what do you have to go and do that for? We were just doing fisticuffs, I didn't know I need to bring a hammer into it. Sweet, you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. My little battle was a fucking beast. Keep it up, and you'll beat him in no time. Oh, oh fuck! fuck. <laughs> That's right, motherfucker, I'm gonna beat you ass! You got him on the ropes. Come on. That's actually embarrassing. Yeah, that is pretty embarrassing. You were doing so much better last time. <laughs> oh. Actually, I think you did this faster than last time. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Yes. And you got star points. Because we got hit, we have to start the run over from the beginning. Fuck. A programmer like me can't live with like an embarrassment like this. I can't believe I got hit in fucking like Mario Thousand Year Door. The tutorial battle, no less. Yeah. That's what these little things are. Star points. I can see that. The star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Punish him! Quick, this way! Phew, what a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Oh. Oh. I'm a big no. fan of like the two different flavors of puddle. That's like <laughs> <laughs> there, there's paint puddle and paper puddle.
Where did they go, huh? You the Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Ah, oh, crud. They bolted. Wow, mister. You... totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. Yes. Yes. My yes. name's Goom Bella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. And I'm Lou Albano. Remember, don't do drugs. Or you go to hell before you die. Lou oh, yes. Albano? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? From the Super Mario Brothers Super Show? Okay, so it's not just like the Lou Albano Mario voice, it's straight up Lou Albano. Yeah. I'm fine with that. I don't know enough about wrestling to like throw in any relevant Lou Albano. Bits. I didn't even know he was a wrestler. He's a pro wrestler, or he was until he like died in the ring. Yeah, I have no clue. Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? <laughs> Me, I already hate it. I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. Are you okay? I mean, I know a place called Rogueport. Oh, forget this. So, I should have expected it, but sheesh! I never come to a place like this if it weren't for some legendary treasure here. <laughs> legendary treasure space here. Well, yeah. You can tell because I spoke it in red letters that it was important and I had to space it out. Okay. <laughs> what? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? <laughs> whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? Oh my gosh. Is that, is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach. What? Jinkies! Great hoogity boogity! If it isn't Master Mario! Everybody loves Toad for it. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho! Remember in the Mario movie where they had like the old advisor Toad and it wasn't Toad's for it? I was going to sue them for defamation. That would also be like a really good like uncle traveling map from like the Fraggles. Yeah, kinda. Dear nephew Gobo. Dear nephew Gobo. Uh. Dear nephew Gobo. Today in outer space, I discovered today a in outer place space called Rogueport. It's apparently outside of a place called the Mushroom Kingdom. The people here are small as off fraggles, and in fact, are part mushroom. But they certainly. Fuck. Something about a. Oh, but they certainly don't taste as good as they look. He would try to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> but in the bit they're looking at, instead of toads, he's actually looking at a Goomba. <laughs> Those are chestnuts. Yeah, he thinks it's a mushroom. I've never seen a chestnut with legs. I like Fraggle Rock. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bug? I'm looking for the princess! Hmm, ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here, in Rogueball? Intriguing. Yeah, I was wondering why she'd send up my mail instead of stopping by. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. <laughs> women. Hey, don't be talking about women like that, Goombella. <laughs> that was me in, like, person. <laughs> The only other woman here is Goombella. <laughs> you know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. 
But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. Hmm, don't call me Shirley. Oh, right. We were gonna have Mario be Solid Snake the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, but that bit hasn't naturally evolved this time, and we forgot about it. Oh, uh, we could do Mario as Solid Snake. Mm. Uh, who's this guy behind me? Why is there a moving cardboard box? Mamma mia. What? There's someone in there! Hey! I'm a wrestler, don't you know? Who are you doing now? Uh, 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 uh. That's Blue Albano and him fighting. That's not. And then Snake takes over. Oh. Oh, come here, son of a bitch. Oh, Mario battle. Don't oh. you know I'm from the Mario show? I'll stomp on you. Oh, you've got a gun. Holy shit. Big, big. Oh. Oh. I feel like that bit could have been like done a little better, but fuck it. It's supposed to be bad and cringe. We're low. We're small creators. I'm cringe. Me, I'm Chris. That's why we did it that way. I'm Chris. But I know my place, Master Mario. And that's not it. I leave this task to you. I'm Chris. Me, Cremory. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP heart points running low. It's just like Undertale. Just drop on in! Ho ho! Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff I say, huff I say. Um, Princess Peach? Did you mean like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? Princess Toadstool? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? King Koopa? The one you rescue? King Koopa? The Bowser? <laughs> Wait a sec, this is wild. Princess Peach Toadstool sent you that treasure map? I'm still well, fucking mad about the Mario movie. This is really intense. Well... Where could she have gone then? Don't do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? I'd certainly hope not, but it sounds very in character. You sound very different, Mario. Did something happen? War. War changes you. Alright, that's fine. Huh. Ooh, ooh, I know Mario. Come with me. Okay. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach! I'm certain we'll find her eventually. Great! We're all good then. Let's go, Mario! That's a me! Gumbrella joins your party! You don't- We could- He's the narrator. Okay. I was just gonna skip through the cut- or the tutorial. Yeah, we, we can skip through this. I don't know if uh, we We already know how to play the video game! Holy shit, he's wearing a hat! So you know he's from the Paper Mario RPGs. Instead of all the other games. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's the same hat as Kerbifer. It is the Kerbifer hat. That's that's Kerbifer the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or being a. Big and easy. <laughs> okay. All right, that's the room you want to go. Okay, it's Kerbifer. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. I appreciate the help, but I think I got it. As you know, I'm a master gamer. Well, first off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks exactly like this. That's a really good description. I know. Oh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, Try pressing ZL. I don't think I will. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Stay in school.
Okay. I'm looking for the guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallop for me. Yeah. These guys, they're called Little Mousers. They used to be called Squeaks. Oh. Because Ma Mouser used to be just that one specific guy. Yeah. But I guess he he had a lot of rat sex. I guess. Like, I, I'm typically super autistic about Mario enemies, but I just could not remember what this guy was called last time, so I had to look it up. Aww. Oops. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> so that that's most like a profitable situation, yes indeedy! That sucked, that's so bad. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine! And that's... <laughs> and it's not any of your business! <gasps> Freeze! You two, not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and maybe lose a contact lens! I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! I did not hit her! I did not! <laughs> you hear me? I did not! Don't move an inch! Oh, I was hoping that'd do something. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Please don't do that. Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? I'm the director! Whatever I say goes! And now I gotta get the new contact lens! You're going to compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! Certainly a voice choice to do Tommy Wiseau for the sub paper. I feel Fine. like we're, like we can't just do it in, like a city impression for every voice. <laughs> That's the charm. It's <laughs> well, the thing is, some of these characters okay, are based are are have been played by certain other people. I haven't watched like literally anybody either or anybody else play this game in my entire life. Maybe I watched like one fucking like Chugga Conroy video yeah, Chugga on Conroy. like the fucking hundred pits of doom like fun facts or some shit like two billion years ago, but that's probably it. If anyone's ever seen only like one thing of a Nintendo game, it's always Chugga Conroy. He's like the one autistic guy that plays every game. That's the guy that you like to watch. Yeah. But no, I don't like typically make a habit of watching like other people's like playthroughs of shit. I mean, I've been avoiding it specifically just because I might play this game one day, and now I am! Yeah. Well, I'm watching someone play, but I'm in the room with them, which is much different than on YouTube. You can't have the remote. Aww. <laughs> Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf! I'm going to block the gate through the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. <laughs> It's, it takes a lot of, like, willpower not to do the Mario, like, noises. I don't have that willpower. We gotta check out the crime scene! The crime scene! <laughs> Dang. Yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? <laughs> but not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. I have no idea what the fuck this thing is, because I'm pretty sure they're only really in, like, this game. It's a... dog? Like, they definitely have, like, some kind of goofy-ass name, like, dog guys or something. I, d I definitely think they're supposed to be dogs of some kind, like, but they have Koopa faces. I don't think they've been used in other Mario games. It's only Paper Mario. Yeah, like, there's the bean people in this game from, like, the Mario and Luigi series. There's, like, the fucking Bant Robos from, like, Yoshi's Island. There's... what else is there? There's the fucking penguins from Mario 64, I'm pretty sure. No, there's the penguins from Mario... or Yoshi's Island. Ah. Like, there's a pretty good selection of, like, Mario enemies from all sorts of games that you don't typically see in, like, Mario games. Or yeah. mainline Mario games, rather. Like, every every company that is, like, contracted to make a Mario game that isn't canon, they always take literally 
every other possible canon characters and put their species in as like a hey we like that stuff too kind of thing like i really dislike in like modern paper mario games where it's nothing but side guys and goombas without hats or anything to distinctify them it's just default goomba default side guy default koopa yeah it's not even like a different kind of shy guy like the the smirky thief guys in this one that like you can tell it's just a shy guy but he's got a different mask yeah i really like the poster of like the koopa with the cowboy hat though yeah man that's a lot of coins yeah i don't know if they took it out or if it just appears later in the game but there's like a crime scene that appears in this liquor house i mean clearly it's already happened <laughs> no, there's like a like a fucking chalk outline of like a body. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> You're standing on him. Oh my god. You can stand on him. The controller even vibrates a little bit when you're like oh, on top of him. That's amazing. That's awesome. First blood! <laughs> Oh, that's probably gonna get really annoying really fast. I mean, most of the jumping's gonna get done. Double kill! Yeah, listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba! I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one! But then the heat came down and I needed to hide, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you I'm lying low in this thieves' den, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. Sly, right? I've heard of that name before. Sly Cooper? Yeah. Sly Koopa? Sly Koopa? The sneakiest Sly Koopa in town? Yeah. <laughs> but he, no, it's Sly Goomba. The sneakiest Goomba in town. <laughs> oh, welcome. Yeah, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. <laughs> Mary Boss Rat, you're the contract lanes, you say? Wait just a moment. Take your time. I'm in no rush. <laughs> Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. I'll check back soon, okay? Works for me. Hey there, fella, welcome. Is this your first time in our shop? I think it is. I would like to explain our shop point system to the new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one shop point for each item they purchase, up to a max of 300 points. You with me so far? Yeah. Shave up enough points, and you can get prizes, including some rare items. I really don't want a GameStop rewards card. Stop asking. <laughs> No, I don't want a subscription to IGN. Would you like to give us your phone number so we can shine you up on the thing? No, I just want to buy Tetris Attack. Leave me alone. Oh, come on, you'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. I don't care. It's a pretty simple promotion, you know, wouldn't you say, fella? Need me explain that GameStop promotion postcard again? No, leave me alone. Oh, well, now with that said... Hey there, Phil. Welcome to Toad Burst Bazaar. What can I get for you? You said that already. Come again, okay? Let's look for Professor Frankly. I know he lives somewhere in town. I'm really inconsistent with how, like, autistic Velma she sounds like. Sometimes I give her, like, too much personality, because I just get too into it. You're supposed to get into it. That's how you characterize someone. I guess. You gotta put your heart and soul into every voice. You Let's look like for Professor Frankly. Yeah. I know he lives somewhere in town. <sighs> Oi, I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. Like how a bomb can explode multiple times and still be alive? I don't know how that works. I just keep exploding. In the fucking like Origami King, there was a Bob Bomb sidekick, and once he exploded, he was just dead forever. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like you get one use and he's just gone. Yeah. Ex yeah. Like it's like he he it was like blow up like a pathway or some shit that like just crumbled down and then like he's just gone. He's gone forever. 
Hmm. Can't you take a hint, pal? Eh, mean scram, don't talk to me. Welcome to Union's Time of Seat! This is Bromley's place. I'm a little cola shop where folks make stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go on up and relax. I wonder why Nintendo doesn't use, like, the pod people no more. Like, the bean people from the Bean Bean Kingdom. No. What was my voice for this guy? It was, like, gay pirate. Incredibly flamboyant, like, Napoleon, like, Christopher Columbus, Spanish, like... Take it easy! Ah, now I know. <laughs> this is the skull stone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, you sparkly thing. I really like it when you do that voice because it reminds me of like Parco Fulgori from like fucking Zat's Bell. That is that is a pull from somewhere I don't even know. I've never heard of that. He's just like an extremely like flamboyant like Spanish dude. Oh, okay. He's famous for his song T T T T O P I. <laughs> um, I think I can go the rest of my life without actually seeing the source material. <laughs> it's it's not it's nothing more than that. Jet's Bell is awesome though. You should watch it. Huh. It is so fabulous. I wish to give it great big kisses. It never leaves my sight. Never. I fucking loved Parco Ful. Par I fucking loved Parco Fulgore. That's a really hard name to pronounce. <laughs> Wee, wah. Could you imagine having to jump up like 75% of your body height just to go upstairs? I already have to do that. Oh, you poor thing. Yeah, like I'm sore. I have to like jump upstairs like that. We need to get you uh, a Mario mushroom so you can get tall. I don't. Uh, does it work that way? Yeah. Where, where can you get those? Oh, uh, just out in the woods. Out in uh, the woods? Yeah, uh, most people call it, uh, like, fly... Fly agaric? Yeah, fly agaric. I have to eat a fly agaric? Yeah, that's what they look like. Fly agaric? I don't think anyone knows how to pronounce it. Yeah. Okay, I, I just need to go out of the woods and find a fly agaric mushroom. Do not do this. This is mince information. Don't say that. Eating a fly agaric will in fact make you tall like a Mario. And then kill you. No, it won't. You'll it's feel real. very high and then die. No, it's real. It's a, it's a real life power up. Talk to Toad you can't, already. You, you can't just like unravel your own bit. Oh, where in the world could this princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Welcome to the Lone Refuge in the Port of Filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. Get a rest, it's five coins. No, I'm not sleepy. Come again. It's the middle of the day. Tell that to old man. No All matter right, what I had you, my phone. No matter what you do, you're not going to turn that octagon into a sphere. That's Miss Mouse's song. Ah. I know, spoiler alert, so I'm gonna have to, like, censor that. We did I talk to that guy? Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? No, I don't need to. Saving's for pussies. There's a save block over there. If you haven't saved yet, this is a good time for it. I'll save when I'm dead. Did we talk to this guy? Okay. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? Like if that. you press R, you can check your own HP, and I can't believe you didn't know that. If you have low HP, you gotta go rest in an inn so you recover. Use your head. I feel like that's a good like way to characterize the Goombas. That Goomba, at least. All Goombas. All Goombas that look like that. All Goombas will have a variation of that specific character voice. What about Goombella? She's a woman. Oh. <laughs> Professor Frankly, I actually think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here as you enter town from the harbor. Just hang alright. That's literally what I'm doing. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you or what? He stole my heart. 
He's such a that good That sounds character. like a personal problem, bro. We don't discriminate around here. Oops, pardon me, sucker! Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! See, that's good. The guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. Dude took half my coins. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. Wee, wee. <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell nobody you saw me, or I'll have to bonk ya. Triple, Triple kill. kill. You keep taking it from me, but you do it so much better, so I don't mind. Triple kill. <laughs> hey, my name's Dorkly. I like dim places. His name's Dorkly.com. I'm done talking for now. Make sure you watch Sonic for Hire, it's really good. <laughs> Dorkly has such highbrow humor, we should watch Dorkly videos. It's great. Hey, Bill Rube. I ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know what guy might go wild. Attack. Be careful, live longer. Thank you for the advice. Now we gotta fight this fucker. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up now! You're an outsider! It's actually crazy how good you do that voice. Past this point is Turf of Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. Try to pass without ban. I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? Yeah, I can kick this dude's ass easy. I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Ooh. Ah! God, I love that fucking fake saxophone, like, trill. The growl. Ooh. Really makes you feel like this guy was meant to be voiced by Gonzo. Real life Gonzo, here yeah. in this very room. Here, uh, Gonzo, won't you read this line? That's Goss! He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. That's Goombella, though. Alright, I'll, I'll let Zoe handle this one. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, I'm sure it's super obvious, but that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Talk about an alcoholic. I can smell the booze on him. Ooh, get clapped on. Nice. I make sure I'm not peeking when I go. I'm like touching Red Barely. I gotta like lean back when I do the Gonzo. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that'll work if I do the turtle like that. Ooh. Don't let nobody ever tell you I'm not good at video games. You're good at video games, especially RPGs. It's kind of hard to be bad at RPGs, especially ones with like the timing mechanics that the Mario games kind of started, but. Or no, the Mario games didn't originate that. That was like Mother. You have me up too much. I missed. I fucked it up. Well, I wasn't paying attention, so it doesn't count. Hmm. I was busy trying to think of the oldest game with the like rhythm timing. There we go. Like, there's really nothing that Goombella can do at this point. Especially since you can't jump on him. That's like the one Goomba move. <laughs> yeah. It's either tattle or headbutt them. And he's got a spear. I know she's wearing a helmet, which probably should protect her from that. Because it's a mining helmet and all, but whatever. I think it's more of like a fan. Yeah, but it's got a headlight on it. It's a mining helmet. She's like excavating in old ruins and shit. Yeah. She's, she's gonna bang her head on the door. She's an explorer. Yeah. She's she's basically the fucking Indiana Jones girl. Because there's one in like every movie. I like how I missed like everyone while you're talking, but I hit everyone when you don't talk. Maybe it's you like should start telling me to shut up. <laughs> no, you're talking. 
Yeah, I gotta make it, I gotta make it more entertaining by you just not being perfectly good at this game. You know, just let me be perfectly good. I don't know. I think it's funnier if like I you swear up and down that you're good, and when I'm not talking, you're good. <laughs> but as soon as I start trying to say something or do a bit, you just instantly start failing. I'm gonna kill him with a. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna kill him. I'm not gonna go through that. Just smack him through the face. I'm not gonna waste that much time. <laughs> yeah, get clapped on, idiot. Got star points. You don't. <laughs> okay. It's from the, it's from the Mario Party. Quad. You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. Uh -huh. That's when your door battle. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? It really does. Yeah. <laughs> this is East Rogue Boy. This is the turf of East Nail and his crew of robbers. That's a really city voice, but I'm gonna commit. The east the side's all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. <laughs> you come to me in the night in my wedding. It's, it's just like in the fucking Godfather. Are you having a stroke? No, that's the Godfather voice. If you're down here, you don't want a bit to have a compelling reason to be here. That trouble center is the only place on the east side that other townsfolk come to. If that place is open, when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. Whee. Yahoo! It's time to talk to Frankly, for real. The old man. The He's old got his face God. outside above his door. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly. What's there? Who's there? Junior, is that you? Who wants me? Don't call me Junior. Oh, yes, you. Now you, are. Uh, you're not here with those Borderland children, are you? Uh, well, never mind. Just a moment. Don't tell me now, silence. I'll get it right this time. God, we're hilarious. We're funny. Objectively. <laughs> <laughs> we're funny. Yeah, we're pretty funny. We have good bits. We've got good bits. We're funny. Hit A. We got jokes. Hit the A button. We have chuckles. Okay. Um, it's not Goom Brown. It's not as Goom. Ah, I've got it. You're Goom Brown, aren't you? You're in my archaeology class last year, am I right? You know, my kid Indy, you got a real good eye on him. If you're looking for a boy... Shut up, Professor. Y yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm Goombella. I was uh, a junior at you, Goom. Go Goombas! Yay! I feel like Goombella would be a lesbian. Yeah. Y yeah, don't... Don't worry about me having a boy, Professor. Uh... Like, see, like... You don't, like, wear, like, a fucking, like, explorer's, like, a British explorer's archaeologist outfit. Like, yeah. you're not, like... All archaeologists are lesbian. The only straight ones are the actors who play them on TV. Yeah. Like, in, uh, the paleontologist lady in, uh, Jurassic Park. Like, in real life, absolutely would be a lesbian. But in the movie, straight girl. Because it's played by a straight yeah, girl. Yeah, like, you don't dress like that if you're not at least a little fruity. Yeah. Gosh, I remember you. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering things. You know, you stick out in my mind, because you're such an exceptional student. Even better than Junior. I like the little thumbs up you did. <laughs> and that guy behind you is, uh... Luigi? Mario. No, you look like him. Who's Mario? Oh. Mario, Professor. He's Mario. You know... Famous one. That, that's like a line read from like a three lane video, <laughs> where like Homer Simpson will be like, "Hey, look, it's Mickey Mouse," and then Marge will be like, "No, Homer, that's Mario. You know, Mario." <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I've made you watch Mario three, Professor like, videos. Mario Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. That's not, like, Mickey fucking Mouse, it's Mario! 
Oh, my apologies. I'm just a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. See, back in my day, they called him Jumpman. You know, that's the last time I heard about no Mario. In any case, what's the Lord Aaron brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure, said to be below Rogueport. You know that thing I did my thesis on? Like, the whole reason I'm in my, like, graduate classes, professor? Uh, graduate classes. Yeah, anyway, I was kind of hoping you would know something about it, professor. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. It's why I missed your dissertation. But what do you dykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? Oh, legendary treasure. No, I admit, uh, most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it! Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. And I'll make sure not to miss graduation. First off, we should stop by addressing what the legendary treasure is. Huh, the legendary treasure? That's right, Margabo. It's Mario. Marzipan. It's Mario. Lario. It's motherfucking Mario. <laughs> Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while else still others claim it's an empty chest. I hope it's a monster. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to define the truth among them, Jario. I hope the legendary treasure is a hot goth mommy. I thought you had a husband, Snake. I'm not Snake, I'm Mario. What's that? Oh, yes, but I'll agree on one point. We have to find the treasure. One must have the crystal star. Uh -huh. Crystal stars. The crystal stars? The crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. Thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes. That's With the... a rhyme that solid, it must be true. That's the thing that Snake does in like all the Metal Gear games, is he just like repeats like every noun that's said to him. Yeah. That's how they exposition to him in the codec. <laughs> Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey! That's what I did my dissertation on, don't you remember, Professor? You know, it's kind of important. It was my whole, like, field of study and everything. You know, like, the whole hold the magical map aloft before the entrance of the Thousand Year Door. Like, I'm the person who translated that. You know, then the stars will light the way and lead the stones yesterday, whatever. I even made sure it rhymed, even though the original language didn't. Stones of yesterday, whatever. You know, it's probably those crystal stars or something. It must be! And we're in luck. It seems the thousand year door is located somewhere beneath this very town. You got the critical piece of the puzzle. The magical map is lost. Only we had that map. I think you mean. This map. Oh wait, I, that was a little early. Fuck it. But we do have it, Professor. This is the breakthrough I've been waiting for to finally get my doctorate. What? Really? You actually have it. Can I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Here you go. Kajario. Astounding, this is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You son are my hero. You're even fantastic. Wonderful even. You belong in a museum. With this map we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand year door. Right on. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Gumbella! Calario! Let's take the magical map to the thousand year tall. Off we must go this instant. I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. Let's it go. Do you like how the old man can't get Mario's name right? 
It's definitely a bit. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down under the shitty streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Uh, Luigi, something just occurred to me. Close enough. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so I'll keep your guard up. Would you turn like practice your action commands before we descend? They're the basics of rattle after all. Oh what, you thought you could skip the tutorial? This is a motherfucking Nintendo game. You'll have to tell me at least three times. I don't want to do the tutorial. You know, if you keep mashing those buttons, I'm just going to tell you anyway. I kicked the shit out of Gus earlier. I think I'll be fine. Ah, poor young and I don't you. Quick refresher. Fucking kill them before they kill you. <laughs> and make sure they don't hurt you by powering them with pressing A. It's just like Dark Souls. Only losers press A, you gotta do the B, like, deflect. Right, uh, now down we go. Just stand on the pipe and press A to enter. Ultra kill! Okay. That was number four. You were gonna say triple kill. That was the third one? That was number four. Oh, that was the fourth one? Yeah. I can count. I can. I don't think you can. I can count! We're getting through this so much faster today. We. What was the voice? Hey man, what's up? You think this is cool? Let's watch your way into our underground? Typical. You surface level snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. come on over, you scruffy most this man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace? If this is your usual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned it down here, because it stinks. Ouch! That was cold! Well, you too good for a fight? Can't look into tussle and stay out of the sewer. Nobody don't start a fight with us, nobody! Let's get up! Can't flee this fight. A Goomba, a Spiky Goomba, and a Power Goomba. My old Goomba family tree! Do you think all Goombas, like, get square teeth when they get older? Or do you think it's just frankly? I think it's because they're... I think it's all Goombas when they get old. Because didn't the old people in the last game have, like, squared off teeth? I'm gonna be honest, I've never played the first Paper you Mario. You never played the first Paper Mario? Played I at least played Mario. through, like, the first part of the story as a kid. Because I was too stupid to get through an RPG. We gotta do that, like, eventually. I mean, I feel like this is gonna be the only RPG on the channel we actually get to finish, but... <laughs> I don't know. We could, like, focus on RPGs. Yeah, uh, Goombario had flat teeth. He was the companion. But he's, like, a baby. Yeah, that means they should be sharper. Yeah. Or do you think that their teeth, like, grind down as they chew on things? I think it's just genetics. Some Goombas just have flat teeth, some have two big spiky teeth, some only have one spiky teeth. You don't think, like, Goombella, like, broke her tooth on something? You don't think they're, like, rats where they, like, break and regrow teeth? Nah. I think that'd be a good headcanon, though. I think that'd be cool. The only one I should warn you about is the fellow in the middle, the spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? Jump on that and you're the one who'll take damage. The power Goomba's airborne, so the hammer won't reach, so I'll have to jump for him. You know what I'm saying? Study our opponent before you choose an attack method. I think I'll be fine. It's literally Goombas. I told you this was a Nintendo game. We're gonna tutorialize you even if you said no. Now, smack his ass. Oh, that's right, I forgot to tell you something vital that you probably already know. You can press Y to change the order of you to attack. You can attack first if you really like it, Goombella. Don't forget that. I'll just be over here watching two of you do your thing from a safe distance. But good luck! Old people are too frail to kill. I'm simply too powerful. 
squeaky. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky-headed Goomba. Basically, that's what it is. HP 2, attack 2, defense 0. Guess that spike helps boost its attack compared to the average Goomba. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh! Fuck. Too strong. Arthur. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> That's Paragoomba. It's just a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP 2, attack 1, defense 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wings, will it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. Got star points! You don't have to do that every time. <laughs> I'll just do one really good take and you'll pay for it every single time. Uh, no. <laughs> ha! Later, losers! That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? They're playing war where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. And I'm too old to attack. Just hammer them and jump on them while they're in the field, and you'll have an advantage on your attack! Uh, well, if you hit them, at least. So if the enemy catches sight of you, make sure you thump them first. Because if you fight unfair, that means you get to win. There's no honor in Paper Mario duels. We didn't go this way last time. I don't think there's really much this way, though. Who's that guy? It's a clown. It's like the Star Beast Clown. Yo, what the fuck? What is this? That's the uh, tarot reader that tells you where to go. But I like that it's like the fucking like goofy wizards from like Flipside and Flopside from like the next game. Ah. Ah, welcome, Mario. I'm the lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I see to see. Ah, uh, so I'll, shall I see something for you? No, thank you. Ah, is that so? Well, if there's ever anything you want to find, just ask. I wonder if they like designed those characters and then just like threw them into the next game because they had them or what? I don't know. You got a star piece. Was she just gonna tell you it was right there? We bought it? Maybe. <laughs> I really like like how Lo Fi hit beats to relax last study to this like underground theme is in this remake. I think if you like have the tempo, it'd be perfect for that. But right now it's like workout version of it. It's pretty relaxed. I drink all my tea. That was quick. Yeah. A single Goomba. They never stood a chance. Never. Another one. He's got a friend. That's not fair. He's got an item. What is that? Cake. Cake. That, that doesn't look like cake. Didn't get a chance to use it. <laughs> It looked more like medicine. I don't know, I saw white and red and my blind ass says it's cake. I mean, anything could be cake nowadays. We've all seen that. 
mushroom. You can tell it's an RPG because there's really just fights for fight's sake. Just to get through an area. Just to grind your XP while you're trying to get somewhere. Yeah. It's a video game. That's a Goomba. But yeah. I'm one of those, in case you haven't noticed. I didn't. I don't see color. Well, um... HP 2, attack 1, defense 0. Uh, Goombas are underlings of underlings. Uh, no standout features. Wait, wait a second. That's so totally rude. I guess I get the under thing, underling thing now. Oh boy! We're over halfway to a new level! I can't, I can't wait to level up just like an Undertale. I know. Christ. Crack. Whee! Hmm. Who's this guy? It's all guy. Whoa. That's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin paperboard. Certainly looks unique. Nobody knows anything about these creatures, actually. So I don't have any trivia, but max HP 3, attack 1, defense 0. Then ask where I got it. Also, uh, I'm just making this stuff up on the fly now because I said there was nothing in the book. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hiya. You're losing, like, the New York -y Valley girly like, thing you had. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hiya, I guess. There's nothing really on it. Ah, fuck. Why am I so bad at it this time? Because I was saying something. Shut up. Goombella gets her first taste of blood. About time. Done tattling. Now it's time to tackle. Oh yeah. I don't remember like what brought it on, but like last time around this point you like brought up fucking Stacy's mom. Oh fuck. I don't Yeah, I don't remember why we talked about Stacy's mom. There's something cool you said with that. Yeah, probably. But you wanted me to put in Stacy's dad as like the ending video. Yeah, well that we haven't gotten to that like reference yet. So it's not gonna be uh, topical anymore. Nothing we're gonna do is gonna be topical. I am like doing so poorly this time. I was like such a pro gamer in like the first one. What the fuck? Um. Well, probably has something to do with the way your leg is vibrating. <laughs> Shut up, I had caffeine. You're waking up a bit. Oh, I, I've always been like awake. I'm as awake as I was before. Okay. I was just full of caffeine. Now your blood like blood pressure is just way too high. A strange black key. I wonder what could have caused you to want to go grab that key before you actually went and did something. I mean, the, like I saw the key on the ledge, but also like literally everybody knows. Everybody already knows. Everybody and their grandmother is aware. Everybody knows. Is there knows. special text? Everybody knows. Is there special text for getting the key first? I don't think so. Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can. That must mean you're the hero of legend. Oh yeah. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. Uh, Mario? Who are you talking to? You can't hear that. 
See, long ago an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you, I'm not exactly confident that we can trust uh, your conscious anymore. Uh, you're talking to a chest. He seems pretty cool to me. I think we should let him out. Oh. I don't know, this chest looks pretty evil, and we probably shouldn't mention the crystal stars. Oh, drat. I said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh, yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this chest and use it to let me out. Definitely. I'm not sure why this chest keeps moving up and down and you keep talking to it, but uh, I wonder if that key you picked up earlier has anything to do with it. I think we should let him out. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. It's a really good description. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, a great legendary hero. Ah, I'm awful familiar. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what? You already found the key? Oh man, I owe you big. Are you sure you want to just put that key in the chest? We don't know why it's shaking. Here you go. Yes! Thanks! Thanks for nothing! Wee! Fools! Ah! Wee! <laughs> oh boy, did you fall for it! I burned you! What do you think? I was gonna help you? Oh fuck! Then I'm just gonna spread a little of the silver to have dirt in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry for that! But those are the bricks. I'm gonna cast a terrible curse upon you. I put a spell on you. Boogly woogly woo! You're cursed! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I dropped on you? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in a certain area, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee! <laughs> Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty tough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you. It's like explain it to you. Ready, if you stand in an airplane panel like this, the floor will start to glow! Isn't it eerie? So totally spooky! Oh, well, it takes a lot out of you. Farewell, you foolish fool! Whee! I'm surprised you went for it that time. Yeah. You actually had an idea. So, uh... You just blacked out there, Mario. What happened? I can turn into a plane now. What do you mean you can turn into a plane? Wee, 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 wee. Almost. You gotta get good. You get good, fucker. Wow. Rude. I've been doing terribly this whole time. I did so good on the first playthrough, and now I'm like stuck on when it's P like a fucking scrub. I know. Oh, Mario Goomba, look at that! <laughs> Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. Come, let's move closer.
Wow! Crazy. The shiny, like, gold leaf on the door that they can do with modern materials. It's real gold leaf that they, like, actually put in the video game. They actually just did a, like, complete 3D scan of an entire paper diorama. I don't think so. No, they didn't. I'm spreading misinformation online. Why would you do that? I like to spread a little bit of mischief. You know, just for free in my pastime. Free mischief? Usually you gotta pay for that. Professor, what's going on? There's a star in a castle. I mean, that describes a lot of Mario games, but... Sweet Treat is like the only like special move you ever use in like Thousand Year Door. That's, that, a, sh that's a shame. And maybe Art Attack when you get Art Attack. What if they like buffed them or something? Probably not. Yeah, they probably didn't change very much. Professor, the map. What was all those strange lights? Uh, looks like there's information related to the location of the crystal star. Not shining a light. It looked as if mysterious power was given to Mario. Did I say Mario? I meant Clefario. Bad bit. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Don't worry, we'll just fade to black, because I know you hate walking. And we're here! Ah, I see. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is... The map is truly astounding! Somehow this map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. That's incredible. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Oh, Petal Meadows. I'm pretty sure every time I've said that I've pronounced it as metals, because meadows is like such a difficult word. Petal Meadows? Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Petal Meadows. Yes, the area is vast metal that lies far to the east of Rogueport. Like, even you're doing it now? I was doing it on purpose. <laughs> Fuck I'm you. making fun of you. Fuck you. Yeah. That's so mean. I like making fun of people. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a town suspicious. The name Petal Meadows didn't come up from time- Did come up- The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay. Fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there, or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Better than trains. It really makes you, like, it really calls public transportation into question if you can just, like, warp pipe anywhere. That Elon Musk guy has a real good idea about no, using pipes no, to move no, around. No, apparently fucking Elon Musk like funded a weird like anti woke cartoon recently. <laughs> He's done a lot of weird shit. We do not have time to get into, but he has always been a grifter, a terrible person, and basically only living on inherited blood money. Anyway, let's skip to the game. Yeah. Shay, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map anyway? We should watch the new norm right now. No. 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 It'll give you something to put in the end. No. We don't have an end bit yet. We'll find one. Don't worry. This is a long session. I mean, it's gonna be broken up into like fucking half hour segments, probably. Oh, well, then you'll find something for the first half hour. I'm just We're already on like the second hour. I'm just gonna do the thing that I said I'd do in like the original recording and just do like the fucking old Stacey's like dad. Skies of Arcadia oh. like 
animation of Stacy's mom with the Stacy's dad audio. Yeah. From Pitcher's Preach? Really? Your Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her exact description and likeness from the front, right? That's exactly what she looks like from the front. That is a... That is a literal depiction of her, like, front-on appearance. Yeah, I'm very good at describing people, yeah. So it is her! So Princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicion about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. And it is my hypothesis that we shall find her with the crystal star. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking the same thing. This is some Steven Universe ass music. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> yeah. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. They're total Nazis. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. For those Nazis do. Give them an all shock in the mouth for me. And make sure the princess is safe. That's in your door literally is just like a fucking Indiana Jones, like, adventure. Yeah, li it literally is just doing archaeology in an adventure. Like, you get the crystal skull, or the crystal stars, it's like the crystal skulls. It's a crystal skull from the game movie. Out after this game came out. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I'm not saying they stole the idea for crystal what now and who what's it's yeah. with aliens and shit with Russians, but, you know, that's like people's least favorite movie that they don't want to talk about ever. I, I really like Crystal Skull, because there was like the ants. Yeah, it was, there was the scene where the ants ate that one man, and he was screaming, but it was like very, very CGI once they like panned out to a further away to see him get consumed. Yeah. Ooh, like it's literally like Indiana Jones, like there's Nazi bad guys, there's like a big mystical treasure, like going on like a big globe trotting adventure. There's a mysteriously, probably a little too young for this kind of adventure, uh, lady friend. Yes, Goombella's got her like adventurer outfit, it's got like the base, like pith helmet. Yeah. And there's a professor who's like old and still all doing book smarts and stuff, like Indy's dad. Yeah. The only thing we have uh, now is for Mari to get a suspiciously uh, well-meaning but uh, racist depiction sidekick. Or perhaps uh, a child played by Shia LaBeouf. The baby Yoshi. Oh shit! Yoshi's- Baby Yoshi is shortstop? Short round. Short round? Yeah, Baby Yoshi- Baby Yoshi is short round? Baby Yoshi is short round. Oh my god! That's the connection. That's what we're going with. I'm not doing a short round voice. Nobody is. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old goomba like me could handle the trials on the road. But these ruffians and road ports, oh, 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 I, I could deal with those on a bad day. I feel like giving everyone in Rogueport like a vaguely New York accent was a good idea. Yeah. That's good characterization. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? I'll spoil the next chapter for ya. You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, you're off. Let's it go. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Whee. Ah, oh, Mario. There's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? You're really calling it that? I already researched and everything. The person who discovers the first location of the Crystal Star will be given the power to heal. Yeah, sure. Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? No, I really don't. Oh, my aching back! Please. Nah. Uh, you're absolutely sure? Alright. Just remember, in battle, the bigger your audience, the better. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, I have this habit lying in the back. Take it with you. You could have used it against all those ruffians in the school, but it wasn't important to give it to you until now. It's called a badge. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. You see, depending on the badge you have equipped, you'll get more powerful. And in fact, there'll be some really broken combinations you'll have to discover by reading the wiki, or by being a nerd to have played this game for at least 20 times. I've played this game like eight times. Well, what's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Anyway, oh. I have to requisite ask if you want to try equipping and unequipping badges, and I have to make sure I ask you twice, because my contract with Nintendo requires me, as a tutorial character, to absolutely annoy the shit out of you and not stop talking, and I, or even let you mash buttons. Fuck off. I'm ready to adventure. Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. We. It's not just New York, some of them are British too. Yeah. Old people are British by default. Yeah. Uh, stopping point. Save! Stacy, can I come over after school? We can hang around by the book of the Did your dad get back from his business trip? Is he there, or is he trying to hear me slip? <laughs> you know I'm not the little girl that I used to be. I'm all growing up now, like man, I'm 23. Stacy's dad is actually pretty rad. He's all I want, and I'm loves is just a tad. Stacy, can't you see? Your dad's just the guy for me. I know it might be bad, but I'm in love with Stacy's dad. <laughs>